fifth graders, welcome to lesson 4.7, Multiply Decimals. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to place the decimal point in a decimal multiplication problem. Please pause again and write the lesson objective in your notebook. In today's Unlock the Problem, we are going to be working on multiplying decimals. We start at the top with a pattern of decimals that we have learned previously. If we multiply 1 times 0 0.1, then our decimal stays the same because of the identity property. But if we start multiplying by decreasing powers of 10, then our decimals are going to move to the left because our numbers are getting smaller. So let's use that pattern to unlock the problem. It says, a male leopard seal is measured and has a length of 2.8 meters. A male elephant seal is about 1.5 times as long. What length is the male elephant seal? So it says one way to do this is to use place value. We multiply with whole numbers. So as you can see over here, we're gonna multiply and we're going to line them up just like we would a normal multiplying. So if we do five times eight, we get 40. So the four carries and they wrote the zero for us. Two times five is 10 plus four is 14, right there. Then we have magic zero. Then we multiply one times eight is eight. And one times two is two, so we get 280. And then we're going to add those together. So zero plus zero plus zero equals zero. 4 plus 8 is 12, carry the 1. 2 plus 2 is 4, so we get 420 if there were no decimals in there. But there are decimals in there. This is 2.8 and 1.5. And you notice that I drew in the swoopies to where the decimal is. Because each time we have a decimal place, we need to add that into our answer. So our answer is 420 but we need to put two decimal place, one, two, into our answer. So our answer is actually 4.20, because there's two decimal places, so we move over two decimal places. That means that our decimal, our point there, is right before the tenths place. So the decimal point of the decimal is in the tenths. Great job, let's keep going. Another good way to make sure that we're on the right track when multiplying by a decimal is to estimate first. So let's use rounding to go the nearest whole number, it says. So 7.8, eight make us round up, so that's gonna be closest to eight. And 3.12, 12, makes us round down, so that's gonna be closest to three. And eight times three, is 24. So when we multiply, we should get an answer somewhere around 24. So if we get something in the thousands or we get something even in the ones, then we know we've done something wrong. So step two says multiply as we would with whole numbers. So let's go ahead and multiply. Two times eight is 16. Eight times one is eight plus one is nine. Eight times three is 24. Then we're going to add our magic zero and multiply by the seven. Seven times two is 14, carry the one. Seven times one is seven, plus one is eight. Seven times three is 21, and I'm going to add them together. Six plus zero is six. Nine plus four is 13, carry the one. Eight plus four is 12, plus one more is 13, carry the one. Two plus two is four, and then bring down the two. So if we had no decimals, this were our answer. But remember, we said our estimate should be about 24. So we need to figure out where our decimal should go. So if we have two, four, three, three, six, then now we need to count the number of decimal places 
in order to move our decimal into our answer. So I'm going to start at the back and I'm going to go one, two decimal places and then I'm going to go one decimal place which means I need to move three decimal places. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go one, two, three. So my, so my number is 24.336 and I know that that's a reasonable number because it's close to my estimate. So 7.8 times 3.12 is 24.336. Great job so far, fifth graders. All right, fifth graders, time for the lesson activity. In today's lesson activity, you're going to be multiplying and finding the product. Remember that we need to multiply like normal and then add in our decimal. I'll do one example for you. Seven times eight is 56. Five times eight is 40 plus five is 45. And then I need to count my decimal places. I have one here and one here, so that means that I need to move two. So one, two means that my answer is going to be 4.56. I've done problem number one for you, so you can do problem number two on your own in your math notebook. Great job.